Good morning. Thank you to all who join us. And as we prepare for this Mass, as it is uh, around 9 o'clock, and uh, we pause at this moment to remember and to recall all those who are ill, all those who are suffering with COVID, let us just observe a, a, a moment, a pause uh, for a moment to, to call them to mind and to lift those who are ill, especially those with COVID, up in prayer as we prepare for this Mass. And we now pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Spirit. Spirit. Friends, gathered together today in the spirit of the risen Lord, we celebrate this memorial of St. Joseph the Worker. As we recall, St. Joseph, who, who worked with his, with his hands in, uh, in his ordinary trade as a, as a carpenter, and, and shows us the dignity and the value of work as as we all seek to work for the common good. So as we prepare to enter into this Mass, we pause for a moment, mindful of the great work of salvation that the Lord has completed for us, has accomplished for us, and we ask for His mercy and His grace once more along our journey. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, creator of all things, who lay down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, over all these things put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and to be thankful. And whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever you do, do from the heart, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that you will receive from the Lord the due payment of the inheritance. Be slaves of the Lord Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, Lord give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, Lord, give success, success to, to the work, work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to, to the work, work of our hands. hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, Lord, give success, success to, to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants, and your glory by their children. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to the work of our hands. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed be the Lord day by day, God our salvation who bears our burdens. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Lord.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's today, as I mentioned at the beginning of Mass, that we celebrate this memorial of St. Joseph and celebrating St. Joseph under his patronage as St. Joseph the Worker. St. Joseph, the husband of Mary and the foster father of Jesus, who we know and recall worked in very ordinary circumstances as, as a carpenter's trade, as he worked with his, his own hands and by the, by the sweat of his own brow to, to earn, his, earn his living, to, to make his way in the world, and perhaps most importantly, to pass on the trades and the skills and the virtues that he did to Jesus as he was part of Jesus' formational experience growing up. I think perhaps in these times in which we are in, there's perhaps no better memorial to, to celebrate St. Joseph under as, as the worker. As, as you and I recall, the, the many people in the variety, the whole panorama of essential, uh, essential work, essential personnel, those on the front lines who are working so valiantly in these times. We've, we've read the stories about them. We perhaps have these uh, workers in our amongst our families and friends, and we are ever so inspired by the work that they do, the work that they do for the common good, indeed a, a way of giving selfless Christ-like service. And so as we recall him in a particular way on this day as we celebrate St. Joseph and, and the model that he gives us of work, of, of the dignity of work, we, we are also mindful that all of us, all of us are called, just by the very fact of our baptism, by our vocation, we are all called to a particular work. Some of us, of course, working within the, within the, the fields of employment that we work in. Others of us, uh, perhaps maybe not in, in a profession. Some of us retired. Some of us find ourselves underemployed or, or unemployed in these days. But nevertheless, each of us, by, by the very fact of our Christian identity, we are called to a work, to the work that Christ gives us. And whatever that work might be, whether it's, whether it's glamorous and seen, or, or whether it's the, the simple, ordinary, unseen work that you and I do on a daily basis, it is this work that is the work of Christ, that Christ has called us to, the work of building up his kingdom, his kingdom of peace, justice, and mercy, and love in our midst. Coming before our merciful Father with our prayers and petitions today, we approach him with, with trust and confidence. That all of us may be nourished and transformed by Christ, who is the bread of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the word of God may put an end to violence in the name of religion between nations and peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That persecuted Christians throughout the world may be protected by God within their homes and churches. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those awaiting initiation into our community, may they be led by Jesus into deeper communion with him this Easter season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that our deceased loved ones may feast forever with Christ at his heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those workers across the globe and in our own communities, amongst our families and friends, especially those who are working in a particularly intense and extreme way under extreme circumstances in these times, we ask that the Lord might protect them and watch over them, and that their rights, their rights might be respected and upheld throughout. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray for Sigurd Johnson, the special intention of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those prayers and petitions and desires that we hold in the silence of our hearts and now present before the Lord this day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all creation, you have given us the good things of this earth you have bestowed your gifts upon us and upon our communities. We ask that you continue to watch over us, to bless us, to strengthen us and inspire us to work in the ways of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ, our risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the praise and glory of his name for our good and the glory of his holy church. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you his spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten Son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine 
they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Fathers, we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the peace of Christ, and all of the dead whose faith alone you have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling and live with you forever, there in the communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Evangelist, and with all the saints. We praise you and exalt you through Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
Let us offer each, offer us now the sign, each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Join together in this prayer of spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all this day, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for joining us today, everyone. Have a wonderful, safe day. We'll see you over the weekend.